Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, your home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. In today's video, we've got a very interesting one for you. The company name is Monoquant. This is a node-based, no-code trading platform for quantitative trading. Very interesting operation here and platform we're going to look at in today's video. Before we do, take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself, the channel, especially in getting this content to other people like you who may find value. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join and let us know in the comment section below if you've heard of Monoquant before, if you're involved in quantitative trading yourself and your outlook on this sector in 2025. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be reviewing Monoquant. This is an innovative trading platform, essentially a node-based, no-code, intuitive interface with literally a quadrillion possibilities to find and improve your alpha in terms of quantitative trading. Now, as you can see here on the corporate website, monoquant.com, I'll leave this linked in the video description below if you wanna jump over and take a closer look for yourself. You've got all the documentation, which we're gonna look at in a second, and the ability to actually try out the beta of this platform which essentially just requires an email and password setup and offering some very compelling benefits to potential users. The first being infinite logic building options, as I just alluded to, over a quadrillion possibilities. Users have access to the lowest level trading data possible, giving them unlimited access to manipulate it and create logic for the trading signals they want. And we'll see an example of that in a second. The second being trade data at one millisecond resolution covering all supported assets on the platform for maximum accuracy of signal execution on back tests with precise operation execution order. The third point being candle and TPO data supporting 13 timeframes from 30 seconds to one day with candlestick data and TPO data on top of which you can create your own indicators and signals. Again, we'll look at an example in the presentation. Order flow data, so extensive additional features available on the candlestick and TPO data featuring buy and sell amounts, number of buy and sell trades, at individual price points for users to precisely spot real support and resistance levels, again in real time, and access to your favorite data providers such as Arkham Intelligence, allowing you to create strategies on the quantifiable fundamental data, an example of which being the number of holder addresses and new wallets created. So opening up the world of quantitative trading in crypto, stocks, options, indices, and even currencies. Now, before we get into the presentation, I wanted to take a step back for those of you who aren't super familiar with what quantitative trading actually is. It's a type of trading using mathematical computations and number crunching to identify trading opportunities. So think big data in real time, consisting of trading strategies based on quantitative analysis, which rely on mathematical computations and number crunching to identify trading opportunities. Price and volume are two of the more common data inputs used in quantitative analysis as the main inputs to mathematical models with quantitative trading generally being used by financial institutions and hedge funds. The transactions are usually large and may involve the purchase and sale of hundreds of thousands of shares and securities. However, we are now starting to see quantitative trading being more commonly used by individual investors. And the reason for this is obviously because quantitative trading is very complex. It requires a lot of resources and very difficult to set up until the advent of intuitive interfaces or platforms like Monoquant came onto the scene. So with that being said, I wanted to jump into a quick introductory video in terms of what Monoquant is all about, and then we'll get into some of the details in the Monoquant paper. node-based strategy builder with infinite flexibility. Manipulate the data however you require. Enter or exit on your logic. Scale into your position. Instantly set your strategies live and create ensemble AI models.
all of the metrics you need, every action notated, per signal visualization, PNL, alpha, and asset baseline all charted with all charts linked. Now I mentioned before the video that quantitative trading can be very difficult and complicated. This is why this strategy builder no code drag and drop interface is so innovative and unique to the space. The Monoquant platform features a state of the art node based strategy builder that accelerates how trading strategies are created, refined and executed as you just saw in that video. This intuitive no code tool allows traders of all skill levels to construct and refine strategies for trading. This intuitive no-code tool allows traders of all skill levels to construct and refine trading strategies really at the ease of their own fingertips. Now some of the key features are a user-friendly design. Traders can build and modify their strategies using that drag and drop interface. Again, we just saw an example of that in the demo. Full parameter access, so every underlying parameter is accessible. We just talked about the amount of data that you have access to in this platform, allowing users to tailor their strategies with as much simplicity or complexity as they desire. And what's nice about this is the platform itself can actually grow with you as you learn more about quant or quantitative trading, advanced risk management, which is obviously a very important, especially for people who are newer to this space. So the ability to take profits, trailing take profits, scale in and out of positions, when to trade, trailing stop losses, and even break even stop losses are all features of Monoquan itself. And then the access to that low level trading data, which allows you to create unique data points and strategy logic by accessing low level data before it's had any calculations done to it. Now, the other point I really like here, AI integration, over 10 machine learning model options available for selection with automated tuning of model parameters from a pool of over 5,000 features. So they're already on the cutting edge of artificial intelligence integration as well. And then the flexible control and customizable logic for entries and exits, again, from your positions, really rounding out the top features and benefits. So here's a look at an example of the strategy details themselves. You can see the various different options, drop downs, combinations, and variables or inputs you're able to access. And they even go through examples of the computations along with the various different input parameters. And there's also a good section in this document talking about the AI models or integration capabilities with the AI model node being where you can actually train and test AI models or can be used for hybrid optimization of an existing strategy. And again, the AI model node allows you to fine tune the parameters of each model and ultimately select from a range of either classification or regression models. So with that being said, I'll bring up another demo video again available on the company's YouTube channel here to walk through exactly how you can put these strategies together. In this video, we'll quickly go over building and backtesting our first strategy. Once logged in, we're taken to the backtest results page, and we need to go to the strategy builder page to start making our first strategy. Here we can see our main node, strategy details, to which we will attach all our logic. First, let's give our strategy a name. We can choose an exchange, which trading pair we want to use, and trade direction, long or short, among other settings. On the left side, we have a selection of nodes. Data nodes allow us to manipulate the data, and strategy nodes allow us to perform actions like entries and exits. And now we want to create our entry logic, so we connect signal group to the entry logic. Notice the connection dots on the sides of the node. They are color-coded to show where nodes could be connected, Signal group node allows us to combine multiple individual signals into one. So for that signal to be triggered, all individual signals have to be true. Suppose we want to do a simple crossover signal based on technical indicators. Select time frames at which we want our data to be. For the crossover logic, we need two lines. So we select two TA data point nodes and search for an indicator we want to use. And these are all parameters we can modify. Now we have a MACD and signal lines. We can connect them to create signal node and select crossover as our comparison operator. The signal will be triggered when the crossover of MACD and MACD signal line happens. Data point allows us to select which data goes into our indicators. And since we want MACD to be calculated based off closing price, we choose close. Now we can attach another create signal to our signal group. Signals within one signal group could be on different time frames. And while crossover signal was on 30 minutes, Improved entry could be on a one-minute time frame. 
Here we simply want to detect a red candle for our entry, so we look for candles where closing price is less than the open price. In our strategy details node, we have many other options you can use. For example, turning on the break-even stop loss would move your stop loss order to your average entry price plus round trip commission after your first take profit gets executed. The stop loss percent option allows you to specify where your stop loss would be from your average entry price. Check out our docs to see what other options we'll let you to do. Now we only need to specify the period for our back test. Let's do it from November 2024 till the end of February 2025. Verify the trading fee matches the taker fee on the selected exchange. Confirm the starting balance. And now we only need to press the play button to start the back test. Once the back test is finished, we get the basic results of our back test. We can see our total PL percent. Excess return percent shows the difference between the return of the asset and return of our strategy. Right click on the minimize results and we can go to the full results page. At the top, we have our PL, drawdown, and asset return graphs for the back tested period. Below, we have numeric information about the back test with our PL values, how frequently our signals were triggered, win loss, volumes, and other information. Monte Carlo simulation charts. Stacked histograms visually show you how frequently different actions were triggered. On the weekly and calendar charts, you can see days when most of the profits or losses occurred. On the right side, we can see a journal of the complete trades with information about average entry exit prices, P&L, commission, and so on. You can click on the trades in the journal, and you will be taken to the time on the chart when that trade happened to visually examine what was happening during that trade. Based on the results page, we can spot that we had the lowest returns on Friday during our back tests, so we might try to optimize for that. If you click on the hamburger menu, you can go back to the back test page where you will see all of your past back test results stored. You can review the results and go back to the specific version of the strategy that produced them. That's it for this video. We've put a link to our docs in the description where you can find more information about different parts of the platform. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to us on our Telegram channel about anything. So as you can see, a very robust platform with a ton of detail and intricacy to really help you optimize for your quant trading strategies. Now the other thing I really like about Monoquan is they do offer a paper trading option as well, giving you an opportunity to forward test your strategy without putting real money at stake. And again, a great way to hone your quant trading skills as you're learning new techniques or inputs. So if we jump back over to the website, you can see Monoquan is pioneering this node-based, no-code trading platform, meticulously designed to democratize quantitative trading, again, putting the power in retail traders' hands in an industry that's traditionally been dominated by hedge funds and institutions, and again, listing some of the benefits, including time from zero to trading algorithmically in hours, not months, use of those AI systems to further optimize your strategies, as we just discussed, Versatility, available on your mobile, tablet, and desktop to customize and adapt strategies in real time. A kickback system where you actually get paid for the volume you execute through the volume staking system. Another feature which is really interesting, this copy trading engine where you get paid based on the volume executed through your own trading strategy. So if other people are interested in executing and trading using your strategy that you've created. And a nice little built-in rewards, recognition, and achievement system or a built-in questing type model where you get rewarded for spreading awareness about Monoquant and referring new clients. Now the final piece of the discussion is just what to expect next. Now the platform roadmap itself, we saw beta testing there. You can see below in terms of the platform release what's already built right now and ready to launch, including the strategy builder, back testing, paper trading, which we talked about, the analysis tools, including over 80 detailed metrics for analyzing and refining these strategies, the social platform, staking, quest engine, and live signals via Telegram. So another way to interact with the platform. And then they go on to list the release schedule for additional features and benefits. But definitely worth taking a closer look at you guys. I would encourage you to jump over to the website, take a look for yourself, potentially sign up for the beta if this is something that you're looking to learn about. And if you have any additional questions or specific questions for the Monoquant team, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you're still watching the video, hit the like button, you guys. Big help to myself and the channel. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you back here in our next video.